Hi everybody, I'm back with another DIY video and this one is for homemade bath bombs. I'm not sure if you've ever used these or even made these yourself, but it is very easy, it's very affordable, the ingredients are very inexpensive and I really think you'll be pleased with the way they turn out. Uh, you're just gonna need some wet and dry ingredients and a lot of these things you probably already have in your pantry or inside your kitchen. So it, like I said, it's very affordable to make. First you're gonna need your dry ingredients which include four ounces of citric acid, eight ounces of baking soda, four ounces of sea salt, and four ounces of cornstarch. Again, really easy to find if you don't already have them on hand. Next, you're going to need your wet ingredients. Those include a tablespoon of water, two teaspoons of essential oil in the fragrance of your choice, two and a half tablespoons of light vegetable oil, and two to three drops of food coloring of your choice. Be as creative as you like with this. Uh, use as many colors or you know, whatever you prefer, and it will come out awesome. The method is easy. You're going to mix your dry ingredients, then the wet. Mix everything together, and then push the mixture into silicone molds. Uh, you're going to pack this mixture down very tightly so they dry solid, and you're going to allow about one to two days for these to dry. Um, you want to let them dry completely, keep them away from moisture, and uh, they will be very brittle and hard when they're ready. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to film a little DIY for you. I think I had talked about this before. Um, it's how to do some homemade bath bombs. And this is actually part of the $10 uh, Christmas gift challenge that I had described to you early in the season. Uh, myself and two friends had decided that we were going to be creative with a $10 bill and see what we could come up with. And this is actually part of the gift. I have bath bombs for them. I have boxes of tea and I have two hardback books that I got at the Dollar Tree. And I thought that all of that combined is a really great relaxation themed gift. So these bath bombs um, could not be easier to make. Um, they're a little time consuming, you know, depending on what you're doing as far as molds because you do need to press very hard when you're filling the molds so they are very solid when they're dry. Um, but other than that, they kind of just hang out, they dry, and they're ready to go. So um, this is what the finished product looks like. I have some little flowers, or these even look like um, little truffle candies, the round ones. I think they're super cute. I have some little starfish here, and I had some leftover um, bath bomb mixture, so I just used them to make three squares, and those um, I will be using myself. So I'm giving away the nice little um, decorative ones and I used some silicone trays that I've had for a very long time from TJ Maxx. Um, I bought these in a set. They came all of these together and they were two starfish trays and one of these little flower trays. So that's what I used and although you can make bath bombs in almost any formation or um, any type of mold. Um, personally, I do recommend using silicone trays because they are very easy to um, release the bath bombs when they're dry or almost dry. You just kind of have to flip them over and since it is like a pliable material, you can just kind of press on the back and they pop right out. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gift wrapping these. I'm gonna be using a ball jar. I'm gonna be using some of this um, ribbon. This is some cord ribbon that I've had from the holidays and some of the decorative paper shreds from the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to show you what it looks okay. like. First things first, the reason why I am adding paper shreds to the jars at all is just so they can have um, a little bit of cushion. When I place the bath bombs in here, they are very delicate, they are very brittle. Um, so I didn't want them just to be kind of flying all over a glass jar you know, chipping away until they end up a bunch of powder because as you can see, there's a lot of fallout powder that you end up with. So if you're not careful with these, again, they are very delicate. As you can see, this one has a huge chip out of it. Um, you just wanna make sure that it has a little bit of cushion. I considered doing some cotton balls, but I decided this was a little bit more festive looking. And since these shreds are made out of just regular paper, they are very soft and they will provide enough cushion for this. So I'm going to get started filling these. All right, just a little progress update. There are only four of the bath bombs in this jar. And as you can see, 
it's almost halfway full. So I'm going to take out some of the paper shreds and I think I'm just gonna put some paper shreds, then some bath bombs, some more paper shreds, and I'm gonna do a layering effect. That will allow me to fit more of these inside each jar. All right, that's a lot better. I was able to fit more of the bath bombs inside by doing this little layering effect. And I'm totally fine with using red paper shreds because again, even though this is January 2nd, this was a holiday gift. We're just a little bit late in getting together and celebrating Christmas. So I'm perfectly fine using red with the green. Um, because it is supposed to look very Christmassy. Um, I didn't mention that. These bath bombs here have some green food coloring in them, and you can see it's an oil-based food coloring, so it does leave a little bit of a flecking effect, so it's not entirely smooth, and I am fine with that too. I think it makes it look a little bit more homemade, a little bit more rustic. I, I really like the way they look, um, but if you don't want to see little spots of color in your bath bombs, you have to use a different kind of food coloring, but Again, I like the way these turned out. And what I'm going to do now is I am going to place the lid on the jar and I'm gonna tie some of the cord on it and I'm gonna get it ready for gifting. All right, I am back with the final product. This is completely finished and ready to go. I have been able to fit 11 bath bombs in each of these pint jars. Um, that's with some of the, um, the paper shred cushion in between each layer. I did a layer of four, some more paper shreds, another layer of four, and then finally at the top I was able to fit three more. So I think that's a pretty good amount to be able to fit into a pint jar, and I just tied up some of the decorative cording around the top, and I think this is a very cute gift. Um, again, I think that if you are going to do this for somebody in the future, you don't have to wait until Christmas. I think this is a great gift for any time of year, um, especially for a birthday as something a little bit extra to put with a birthday present or just have this be your birthday present to somebody. Um, you could do any color combination. The Dollar Tree constantly carries the paper shreds and they come in all colors. And of course, you know, you can make your bath bombs in any shades that you like by mixing food coloring and coming up with your own color combinations. Um, and just getting very creative. So this was very inexpensive. Um, it was easy to do. The longest part of this process is just waiting for uh, the bath bombs to dry and that takes about a day to a day and a half. Um, the recipe that I used recommended two days but I have found that I didn't need that much time. So um, this is it and I hope that you enjoyed this and that you're able to utilize this in some way for gifting in the future and um, please let me know if you like this video and if you did please subscribe for more, more DIYs and some other creative projects that I would like to get into in 2015. Take care. Okay guys you thought I was gone but I'm back. <laughs> um, two remaining things. This is what the bath bombs look like in a ball jar without the paper shreds. Um, these are going to be for me so I really don't care if they break up a little bit. It's not that big of a deal. I did want them to be intact when I give them away to somebody but um, for myself you can tell there's already a little bit of fallout at the bottom of the jar um, but they're really brittle again and that's how they're supposed to be so um, that's fine for me. Um, I also think that even without the paper shreds these will look really nice on the bathroom counter in the bathroom and I don't know just kind of inspire me to use them so um, and they smell amazing. I didn't say what scent that I used but I did use some essential peppermint oil and these smell awesome but lastly I thought maybe you would want to see how one of these works and if they really work. So I have one of them here and this is one that was a little bit misshapen. So I'm gonna put this in some water. And as you can see, this fizzes up awesome. I mean, it just, these work so well. I mean, they work as well as anything I've ever seen purchased from Sephora or um, Target or anywhere that you can buy bath bombs. But they're so fizzy and as, they break up and as the um, fizzing happens, uh, it just smells amazing. It releases all of that peppermint scent. And again, that's just what I chose. You can choose any essential oil that you like to scent these. But I mean, this is really some good payoff. So totally happy with these. The rest of this will actually dissolve in a larger bath of water. You can see that there's kind of like some baking soda flecks and things like that. Totally normal. This will all dissolve and dissipate when you're when you put this in an actual full-size bath. So again, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you like the video and I will see you next time.